Hmm. The short answer would be yes and no. Um, yes, because uh, it's not the only one that claims to be um, a path to God. Islam claims to be a path to God. Some African traditional religions that would uh, believe in one supreme God say that is the path to God. So in that regard, Christianity, Christianity's claim to be a, path, a, a way to God is just another claim, yes. However, we're talking about the God that is revealed in the Bible, that God that comes to the person of Jesus Christ. Then it is the only way to God. Um, Jesus himself says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then he says no one comes to the Father except by me. He states that he is the one, but then he also says there are no other exceptions. Now some would say that um, maybe this is arrogant, this is a bit bigoted, and this is a rather stupendous claim. Uh, that really I prefer a religion that says that all other religions have different paths to God. Now let me say three things to that. The first is that you have created a new religion and it's an exclusive religion. It's a religion that says that any claim that says there is one path to God is excluded. So you're doing the same thing Christianity is doing, albeit in a different way. The second is that, don't forget, other religions also claim that. So are we now going to say everyone is bigoted? And then the third thing is that, look, it doesn't really matter whether it's saying that it's one way or not. Just imagine a doctor who says, I have three malarial uh, patients and I'm going to offer anti-malarial drugs, vit uh, multivitamins and antiretroviral drugs. And then we celebrate him for his diversity, for giving different drugs to um, patients with the same uh, ailment. No, we want to know whether it's going to work or not. And it's the same thing with the path to God. Is it true or not? Not whether is it diverse or not.